Hey everybody, Brian here from touringplans.com and I am going to tell you my top five, wait that's ten, five holiday activities in Walt Disney World. It is almost Christmas time. Now before we get into it, a word of warning. It is super duper busy during the holidays in Disney World. The closer you get to Christmas, the busier it gets. And that week between Christmas and New Year's, the busiest week of the entire year. Here we go with number five. This is brand new for 2016 at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. And okay, the name's kind of dumb, but the show is kind of cute. It's got a decent story with projections, fireworks, and lasers. Who doesn't love lasers? Here, take a look. Now for number four, we are taking a friendship boat up the river to Epcot. Walking right into World Showcase and checking out the World Showcase storytellers. Now these are people that hang out in World Showcase and tell stories. I guess the name kind of says it all there. But what it is is a performer in each pavilion telling you about all sorts of different traditions from around the world. We learn all about Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. The performers really bring it to life with their antics, songs. Here, take a look. And he dragged it home to his family. You let us in the legendary barn Santa at your service! Oh! It was wonderful! The sound of people coming together! Alright, number three, halfway there. We are going back for some fireworks. And this is a tie between wishes and illuminations. Okay, is a tie cheating? Yeah. Am I remorseful about cheating? Both wishes and illuminations happen year-round, that's true, but they both also add new stuff for the holidays. Illuminations, I'm not really counting because it's just what they call a holiday tag. It's a couple minutes at the end of the show, but Wishes is an all-new show just for Christmas time. But there's a caveat to that one. Up until a couple days before Christmas, they only show holiday wishes during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, which is a separate ticket event. If you can't get into the park to see it, check out some of the other viewing locations around Seven Seas Lagoon, like the Polynesian or the Transportation and Ticket Center. Alright, time for number two, and you're probably going to be mad at me, because not only are we staying in the Magic Kingdom, there's nothing wrong with that, but this is another thing that only happens during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, until, again, a few days before Christmas, and that is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. This parade is the only holiday parade left in Walt Disney World, isn't that terrible? But it's a great parade. It's got toy soldiers, all your favorite characters, and Santa. Santa! I know him! It's time for the big one, my number one holiday activity in Walt Disney World. And what could possibly top fireworks and a parade? It would have been the Osborne lights. But since they're not there anymore, I'm cheating a little bit. Again. It's all the decorations at Disney World. Everywhere you go, every resort, every park, Every restaurant is going to have their own style of decorations. The parks have massive trees in each one, tons of decorations, tons of lights. Every resort you go to, you can see trees, decorations, lights. And if you go to some of the deluxe resorts, they even have other special surprises, like gingerbread houses, chocolate carousels, and massive trees. If you're in Disney World around Christmas time, take some time to explore. We're not going yet, because I have a bonus item for you. This one didn't quite make the top five, but I want to mention it because it's another thing that's brand new for 2016. And that is the Star Bright Holidays, which is at Disney Springs. You'll probably know as the drones, if you know it at all. And that's right, they take hundreds of little drones, complete with lights, and they basically dance them around the sky. Here's a video for you to check out. It's better than me describing it. best thing about the drone show is that you don't even need a park ticket to see it. It's at Disney Springs. Anybody can go. So that's going to do it for our top five holiday activities. 
Please let us know if there's any other videos like this you want to see from us in the comments below. Also, like this video, share this video, visit touringplans.com. We have tons of stuff about the holidays there. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.